view out our window Thursday morning. The gondola is in operation. Up there is a patch of snow, probably man-made. But up higher, there are ski runs with snow. And I suppose there's people up there skiing. We can't quite see because of the cloud cover. This is the Blackcomb Gondola. 1045, I see people walking with skis and snowboards. And up the mountain, it's cleared up. You can see the ski runs. These are the Whistler ski runs. And up here is Blackcomb. It's a pretty serious ski area from my experience once and you got people down here playing on this miniature golf course i think we'll go see what's going on down there here we are at the black comb gondola we skied here 40 years ago it was an open chair And they're skiing up there, spring skiing. Nice thing about spring skiing is the lines are almost non-existent. Nice gondola cars. There's Whistler up there. Blackcomb is very steep. And pretty scary for me to ski down, but I did it once and then went back over to Whistler because it's a lot easier. Whistler, I could take the chair up to the top of that mountain as it would take me so long to get down. I didn't spend a lot of time in the lines. We took a bus from Whistler to the train depot and these guys were there waiting to greet us. Oh, great. A passenger in front of us shared her iPhone video of the That's mama wonderful. bear and her cubs. Thank you. Thank you. Outside of train left right now. Down train right, we'll have really, really great shots down the vista. <laughs> In the background. Oh, yeah, nice snow up there. Down below, we've got those white water rapids, the Chuckmas Canyon, will occasionally get rafters. Down there, we'll continue to make our way here, uh, trundling along into the city of Squamish, passing through the little suburb of Brackendale. I don't think I'd want to white water wrap that. It's dangerous. And our flight's at 1.30. Oh, that's good. That's plenty of time. Yeah. Too much is better than not enough. This is... Do you do it at the end? Why you some water to Some water, sir. No, look at it. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I don't know. Right here. Wow. World quality rock climbing on this chief's head, second only to El Capitan which of course is in Yosemite, in the town of Squamish, center for rock climbing.
halfway between Vancouver and Whistler. That does look a little bit like El Capitan. Here's a liquor list. All of this liquor is available as much as you want after 9.30 in the morning. Somewhere on this rock face is supposed to be a face of a woman. I have a pretty good imagination. Yeah. And it could be rock climbers, but I don't see any now. It might be me. Lived on top of the chief for a couple of months oh my. in my van. And there's some uh, really amazing, it's a really amazing hike as well. So if anyone's uh, back this way, highly recommend. Yeah, right. Uh, it looks to me like the tide is out. I assume this is tidal. This is ocean water. As it flows out to the Pacific Ocean. Gilmore out here. So on that court, on that hole, I can't remember which number of hole it was. Uh, that's the hole, one of my favorite parts. I'm not a huge Adam Sandler fan, but that's the hole where uh, Bob Barker started beating up on Happy. So we'll continue making our way down south towards Vancouver, just outside of Train Right. What we're looking at there is beautiful Howe Sound. Howe Sound is named after the Viscount Howe, uh, discovered back in 1797 by Captain George Vancouver. And as was the style at the time, whenever you found something, you had to name it after your boss. You yep. couldn't name it after yourself. So we've got Howe Sound here. There are three major islands sitting inside of Howe Sound. Uh, we've got Anvil Island, Gambier Island, and Bowen Island. Do keep your eyes out just outside of train right. What we're seeing on the opposite side there, that's not an island. Those are the Sunshine Coast. It's part of a peninsula that's actually connected to the British Columbia mainland. So we'll be coming across those three main islands here pretty soon. But the reason why I say keep your cameras at the ready is because outside in Hell Sound, it is a favorite spot, uh, not spawning ground, beg your pardon, a uh, favorite area of uh, killer whale ponds, orcas. So it's been a couple of years since I've seen them here. Last time was in 2019, but there was a pod of orcas uh, swimming by here in Hell Sound. Ladies and gentlemen, Porto Cove. Favorite little camping ground. Nice little launching dock for those who have private boats. I don't have a private boat. <laughs> but we can see a lot of campers down just outside of train right here. Good, beautiful weather for setting up the RV.